Hi everyone, I'm Oliver, Creative Director at Sabre Interactive. It's around six months since we launched World War Z and it's been great to see how the community has responded to our free updates since then. Season 1 is over, but we're beginning the same commitment to regular free content as we move into our first release of Season 2, the Kill It With Fire update. There's a lot to look forward to in this update, which brings two new free chapters that progress the stories of our Moscow and New York survivors. Moscow Chapter 4, Resurrection, is set just a few days after the end of Chapter 3. The nerve gas has been released and our survivors have given up on waiting for rescue from the bunker. You and your squad are forced into a desperate battle for survival as you struggle through the infested underbelly of a desolate city in hopes of escape. New York Chapter 4, Dead in the Water, opens with the survivors as they attempt to make their way to Canada via tugboat. Out of gas and stranded on the Hudson River, your squad is forced from the safety of the boat in search of a new escape plan within a war-torn, Zeke-infested town. We're delighted to have the chance to continue our survivor stories and can't wait for you to dive into some fresh zombie killing action. The free content doesn't stop there. Those of you who are keeping a keen eye on our social media channels might have noticed a much requested weapon is coming. The Flamethrower. Providing a steady stream of area denial, the Flamethrower offers an all new option for stemming even the most daunting zombie tides. The final big thing to talk about in this update is prestige ranks and rewards. This is another feature that emerged directly from community requests. Once you hit level 30 with a class, you'll be given the option to prestige. This sets that class's level back to 1, but there are benefits for doing so. You'll unlock unique prestige weapon skins, an indicator of your prestige level for other players to see, as well as multiple perks which offer direct gameplay bonuses. All this stuff is being joined by the option for mutators in private lobbies, in-game ultra-wide support, as well as a small Halloween surprise that you'll find waiting once the update is out. That's all for the Kill It With Fire update. Stay tuned for more info soon about future Season 2 free content, including the Horde mode and cross-play support, as well as a new zombie type and cosmetics. The World War Z journey won't end with Season 2. While we're not ready to show everything just yet, we're excited to show you what's still to come in 2020 and beyond. See you next time.